Chicago area. In Naperville, take a look at the Riverwalk area. Now, the water is flowing like a rapid, actually, and the flooding has kept businesses closed for the day and people off that historic Riverwalk area. And scenes like this one that you are looking at have been unfolding much of the day as well. For some residents in Forest View, the only way out of their home is by boat. ABC 7's Evelyn Holmes is in Forest View. And she's hey, that's our house. Now with the latest on the flooding <laughs> impact there today. Evelyn? Es que hoy en vivo. Sylvia, Forest View is one of the suburbs harder hit by the floods. The evidence really is everywhere you look. Hey, that's my car. Look to the south, look down the block, you see that there are entire blocks here that are still underwater. Hay un señor con un chamarra azul caminando en la calle, ¿verdad? Most of southwest suburban Forest View waterlogged. It was pretty hectic, yeah. Went outside my bed to get a drink. Oh, I know her. And sure enough, the floor is just soaked with water. Just <sighs> friends ferried Marissa McCarty and her doing? roommates to safety after the water yeah. began to rise. Those same flood waters <gasps> were carrying stimulus from her home without her family keepsakes or irreplaceable mementos. The pictures, um, things your kids made. Um, my parents both passed away. We had mementos from them, and awesome. everything's gone. And but we're safe, which is the thing we got to keep in mind. Just yesterday, torrential showers soaked the area, dropping several inches of rain. This afternoon, fire department dive teams conducted oh, numerous evacuations, even though their firehouse was underwater. Here's a picture of the building's flooded kitchen. With the help of neighboring fire districts, fire officials set up shop at an elementary school for now. It started around 10 o'clock last night when the burn, the lines broke, and it just started rushing through. Just unable to really do any bagging because it came in so fast. Despite colder temperatures and some flurries, many attempted to pump out their basements and clean up. The damage is costly enough, especially for those who don't have flood insurance. We're not covered by the insurance. We don't have flood insurance. Uh -huh. We're working. So mostly this is a uh, high, high ground, so we never consider it. And although nearby Stickney has yet to see the worst of the flooding, all residents <laughs> are worried <laughs> wait until the flood waters crest. I'm trying to just see if the water is going to move up. Yes, that makes it corner. We may not have a choice. We may have to just go somewhere until we know more She's news. The residents uh, are not so much worried about the rain. They say they are still very much Dude, concerned about the weather. The house is house house. It is cold, <laughs> and occasionally you will feel hail and sleet come through the area. Then it simply stops. They say they need yeah, these conditions to improve simply because they need to be go, go In the meantime, they Wait. say that they do need some relief. They need that river to cross. Reporting live before the oh. ABC 7 News. Alan, what am I so on TV? Yeah. Yeah? Cold weather and even the snow coming down, that's certainly inconvenient.